guys, my name is Eza and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to review Almost Heaven by Judith McNaught. If I'm not mistaken, I gave this book four stars or four ratings. Well, with all historical romance, the plot more is more or less the same. So I'm just going to go and continue with the review. I will link the Goodreads of the book below so you can read the synopsis on your own. Right. So, reading my notes, which you can see. See, I even wrote, write it nicely. Almost heaven. At first, I really liked Elizabeth. I thought she had... Elizabeth is the female lead character, by the way. I thought she had a great sense of humor because um, she had to be married off by her uncle. Because she was taking too much money from him. And he is a really pauperous? No, that's not even a word. He's really cheap. He's a really cheap guy, and he's a son of a bitch, if you can say it that way. So yeah, she had a really good sense of humor because she kept trying to fool her suitors by hating her. So for the first suitor, um, because he's such an extravagant dude, really hedonistic lifestyle, she came almost nun-ish. Covered from head to toe, did not eat meat did not laugh, did not converse, all she was talking about was like Jesus Christ and the whole Christianity lifestyle and come to the second suitor, she pretended to hate the outdoors, pretended to hate fishing, hated everything that includes the outdoors. Really girly girl to make them hate her. Up until she had to go to the third suitor which is Ian Thornton, whom she has a very tumultuous past, I would say. It comes to the third guy that she starts to crack a bit. But as much as I liked her from, as much as I liked her in the earlier sections of the book, towards the end, I started to dislike what she did and her actions because I felt that it was really selfish, it was really stupid, and it didn't she did not think it through, essentially. But then again, as a girl who literally walked to her cousin's house in the middle of the night because of some misunderstandings, I cannot judge her. So no judgment from this girl. Another thing was like, I really liked how Ian adores Elizabeth and isn't mean to her like Jordan or the other dudes in the Judith McNaught series. Uh, to their partners. But yeah, Ian, he's really sweet to her. He's a bit too intense at first, you know, he's really like, I'm gonna marry you, I love you, let's just do this, I don't care if I have money, I'm, I'm gonna make this work. So he was really in there, like really intense, kind of like this. So yeah. And then it was kind of, it was sweet. Usually when you read about all these dukes and all these dudes and stuff, they don't really show their feelings that much. At least not as intensely as Ian did. They say it's because of his Scottish blood. I've never dated a Scot before, so I wouldn't know. But when he met Elizabeth again, after a while, after the whole fiasco when they were younger, um, he was really cold to her. He was really like, I can't deal with this woman. I can't deal with her right now. And he became really petty. He became really sarcastic. He was just cold, you know? But then again, if I were him and I thought that she didn't want me because I didn't have a title, I didn't have money, and I humiliated him, essentially, I would be petty too. There would be some really bitter feelings going on against her. And then the reason why I didn't give it a five star is because Elizabeth's actions towards the end was really stupid. Really, really stupid. Like you say you love the guy, but you just, you just believed what your brother said immediately. Really, your brother is the one that's being suspicious as fuck. Like, Ian never lied to you. He never lied to you. He never told you about his wealth because you never fucking asked. You know? You never asked him what he did, how much he was worth. He never asked. Obviously, he didn't want to freak you out. So he just kept it quiet. 
didn't, didn't mean that he won't tell you. And besides, he was really sweet to her, bought her everything. What did she do? She went and believed her brother, that son of a gun. And then like, would be, and then the brother is all like, oh my god, Ian tried to kill me. He tried to kill me so many times. He tried to assassinate me so many times. He got to run with me, Elizabeth. He ain't worth it, no matter how good the sex was. Now come with me, girl. You are safe with him. And she, so she did. She went off with him, sold all her jewels, and just poof, disappeared. Didn't even try to explain to Ian or anything. Just imagine the man came home expecting his wife there. Happy as hell, sees that his wife is gone. Don't even know where she is. And the next thing you know, she found out that the, the brother was lying to her. Obviously. For a supposedly smart girl, she ain't very smart. So yeah, that action is kind of like a... Yeah, it was also great for me to read about old characters like Jordan and Alex from... Um, something one the something wonderful book from Judith McNaught and how they helped Elizabeth in her predicament. It's just really nice to read about old characters in other books. You know, it's kind of like, oh hey, I know what happened to you guys. You got shot in the head. You know. So yeah, I hope that made a lot of sense. My review and so yes, that's it. Bye guys.